Hello. If you'll recall, club presidents were sent a letter last month asking them to nominate someone as a community champion of change. Each district could select two candidates, and then 12 persons from across the United States would be selected for what is known as Rotary Day at the White House. I'm pleased to announce, and some of you already have heard by now, that John Germ of the Rotary Club of Chattanooga was selected as one of the 12 champions. Past District Governor Harry Fields of Chattanooga Hamilton Place nominated John for his tireless and selfless acts in support of the city of Chattanooga and making it a better, stronger community. More specifically, his nomination centered around his work with Orange Grove Center and Camp Discovery, which have aided intellectually and physically challenged citizens for many years in the Chattanooga area. Rotary International President Tanaka was in attendance at the meeting, which was held in the Eisenhower Executive Office Building next to the White House in Washington, D.C. Due to sequestration, a tour of the White House had to be canceled. A reception was held in the honorees' honor the night before at the National Press Club and was quite a nice event. If you see John, please congratulate him. He is a great Rotarian and a great representative for our district. The annual Rotary District Conference is just around the corner. It is being held on April 19th and 20th in Chattanooga at the Marriott Hotel and Convention Center. If you have not registered yet, please do so today. If you can't stay for the entire conference, pick and choose and come to some parts of it. If you've never been to a district conference, or if you're a fairly new Rotarian, you owe it to yourself to attend a district conference. It is educational, fun, enlightening, and a great way to meet fellow Rotarians. Please go to the district website to register. The Oak Ridge Peace Forum, with Rotary International President Sakuji Tanaka as the keynote speaker, was a great success. Over 250 people registered for the event, and it was a very full two days of activities, with a tour of some key sites in Oak Ridge, the annual Rotary Foundation Dinner in Knoxville, the actual Peace Forum, and a dinner for local Oak Ridge Rotarians, all packed into about 36 hours. One great thing that came out of the Peace Forum is that after all the bills were paid, we were able to make a $7,500 donation to the Peace Center's endowment fund. Past District Governor Karen Wentz made the presentation to Rotary International President Tanaka at the Duke United, University of North Carolina Peace Forum last week on behalf of our district. PETS was a very successful event a couple of weeks ago in Nashville and it was a good training opportunity for the club presidents-elect slated to take office this coming July 1. The next big event for those presidents and their boards will be the District Assembly, which will be held in Cookville on Saturday, May 18th, and will be led by District Governor-elect Ray Noas. One final event to mention to you is the annual District 6780 Golf Tournament, which will be held on Friday afternoon, May 31st, at Oak Ridge Country Club. That's my home course, and the course is in great shape and will be magnificent by the time the tournament rolls around at the end of May. It's also the home course of Oak Ridge native and two-time PGA winner Scott Stallings. I'm hoping for a great turnout, and registration forms are available on the district website. Hopefully, every club will try to put together at least one foursome, especially those clubs in easy driving distance of Oak Ridge. That's all for this month. Hard to believe the year is almost gone. Let's finish on a very strong note in each of our clubs. Look at the goals you set this time last year and see how you stack up. Work on recruiting new members and raising dollars for the Rotary Foundation and polio eradication over the next couple of months. Hope to see you in Chattanooga on April 19th.